All right, it's time for another episode of Random Thoughts from a Crazed Mind, the worst video channel on YouTube. And today, we're going to be talking about callable CDs. Now, I'm coming from my the front porch of the house that I rent. Normally, I would be in the backyard studio. The last time I did this, I was out in a mesquite thicket talking about CDs. Today, we're on the front porch because the neighbors are in the backyard and I don't want to be talking to myself about callable CDs while the neighbors are watching. So, we're on the front porch. Now, what is a callable CD? I did a CD video uh, quite a few months ago now, I guess. Um, and that video is the only video that ever has gotten any traction on my channel. It's up to 1,500 views now. I thought it was going to get three views. It's gotten 1,500. It's getting about 15 views a day uh, still. Um, I'm still getting people subscribing to the channel. Hello to all you subscribers out there. All 28 of you or however many there are now. And um, I did a really a pretty bad video on brokered CDs, but uh, it was a timely video and people are watching it. A lot more people are gonna watch it over the years. So in that video, I talked about callable CDs. And this confused a lot of people. People did not know what a callable CD was and I got a lot of comments about callable CDs. And so today we're gonna to talk about callable CDs because it's a really good time to be talking about callable CDs because I just bought a CD today and we had a great example of callable CDs, why you would want to buy one, why you wouldn't want to buy one. So we're going to talk about that right now, callable CDs. Okay, so what is a callable CD? Now there's two types of brokerage CDs. You have callable brokerage CDs, is usually what I buy, and you have non-callable CDs, um, which are just regular CDs that mature at maturity. Uh, uh, a callable CD is one that the bank sells to you that they can take back, call, they can call it, which means they will buy it back from you at par. So um, generally, when a bank is issuing a callable CD, as they're issuing a lot of callable CDs right now, um, because they're trying to basically trick you into buying a higher yield CD that they can take back, right? So a callable CD is always a bet with the bank on interest rates. They're trying to get you to buy a CD with a little bit higher yield that they can call back because they don't want to take the chance of having to pay you a higher rate over a longer period of time. They want to be able to call it back in a year, uh, get the money now, make a loan with the money, and then if interest rates go against them, they just call it back and they make you know, they make more money that way, right? So right now is a really good time to look at what a callable CD is and how it works. So today, I bought a five-year, 4.3% CD from Capital One. Non-callable. I usually buy callable. I bought a non-callable CD. Why did I buy a non callable CD because I want to make 4.3% for five years, I think that is a great, great deal. Great deal. A 30-year bond is 3.6. You can get 4.3 for five years, right? So we have an, what they call an inverted yield curve. Interest rates are actually lower, way, way out from now than they are now five years from now, or even one year from now, much, much higher. Why is that? Because we have this all of this inflation, the Federal Reserve's raising up interest rates to try to get inflation down, and the uh, bond market basically thinks the prospects for uh, the future are not as good as they are in the short term, so long-term rates are 3.6, shorter term rates are over four. This is a very bizarre situation, and that's because 
we have all this inflation that nobody's really expecting to go away uh, anytime soon. So rates are 4.3 percent. So normally we would have maybe a one-year CD for 4 percent, two-year CD for 4 percent, like in March or whenever it was. Uh, we could buy uh, three percent CDs for two years. Um, now you can buy a four percent, four and a half percent CD for five years. So let's look at this callable situation. Five year CD, I could have bought a Morgan Stanley 4.5 percent CD. This is real time right now. You could buy it right now in your brokerage account if you wanted to. 4.5 percent CD Morgan Stanley is offering that is callable in one year. Or you can buy, there's a lot of other ones also, um, offering slightly lower uh, yields, but they're all callable because these banks don't want to take the risk of getting interest rates going down and then they're stuck with a 4% CD. They want to take this money and want to sell a mortgage at six and then, you know, make their money that way. Uh, and then if interest rates go down, they can just call it back and get the money back, right? They won't have to pay you 4.5% for four years. So that's not a very good deal, right? I mean, if it was a situation where I thought that interest rates were going to really go down fast, like within the next couple of years, then I might, or within one year, I might buy a uh, callable CD. In my past video, I talked about how I bought a 30-year CD once for 4%, and I thought that interest rates wouldn't be any more than 2%, so it was callable in one year. It was a 30-year CD, but it was callable in one year. So interest rates did go down like I expected. Short-term rates were 2%. So I made 4% for one year. Uh, the bank said, whoops, we made a mistake. They called it away. And it was still a good deal for me because I knew that it was going to be lower in a year. And I would have loved to have kept it for 30 years at 4%. I mean, that would have been the ideal situation for me. So I win either way. So in that case, the bank lost. I won. They paid me too much interest. Um, so that was a good situation for callable CD. So now we're looking at the opposite situation. I can get a 5% CD from Capital One. 4.3% for five years, uh, and, or I can buy a 4.5%, get slightly more, but that one's callable in one year. So I don't want to be called in one year because I think that 4.3 is going to be really good. I think interest rates are probably going to come down in the next few years, and so does Capital, well not Capital One, Morgan Stanley. They think they're probably going to come down, so they're saying, hey, all these banks, basically, Capital One's really the only one offering non-callable. Everybody else is saying, hey, we want to call these things back. We'll give you 4% for one year, but we're not going to do it for the whole five. We might do it for the whole five. If it works out for us, we'll do it for the whole five, but we're only going to guarantee you one year. So I bought the non-callable 4.3% Capital One CD not the 4.75 percent callable cd because the callable cd they could have called the cd back in one year and then i would have been stuck without a 4.3 percent cd for the next four years right so we're always taking a risk i mean uh you know i bought the callable cd earlier in the year at three i thought that was a great deal now I could have gotten four, right? This is the this is the risk of buying CDs in a rising interest rate environment. I'm happy I'm making three. I never thought I would be even making three. Uh, I can reinvest. This is money I'm basically reinvesting after six months or however long it's been. Uh, I've got some interest anyway that I need to put into something. So I'm putting it into this 4.3% CD. I think that's a great deal. And um, I hope that helps people understand a real world situation about how callable CDs work, what a callable CD is, 
um, how to think about callable CDs, right? So we want to buy a callable CD if, like I said in my last video, callable CDs are usually not a good deal. You're making a bet with the bank that interest rates are going to go down and you're going to take advantage of the callable CD because you're going to make a higher rate. Well, uh, I do think interest rates are probably going to go down. And so I don't want a callable C CD in this situation because I'm getting a five-year CD, right? If it was a one-year CD, well, yeah, I'd probably take this callable rate. Uh, or even two years, I might take a callable rate. Five years, no. I want four point. I want four percent the whole time. I don't want them to be able to call it away from me. That's a trick. Callable CDs are always a gamble, right? They always want to take the money back from you because they're offering you a good deal. So they're usually callable within one year. We, I don't want to be called, so I did not buy a callable CD. Although could have got 4.5% instead of 4.3%. So if you just wanted to buy, if you want to take that risk for 4.5, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, a lot of people are going to jump on this 4.5% CD, right? That's just the whole whole idea. Put it out there, callable. You don't realize it's callable. You buy the 4.5 instead of the 4.3, and then they call it away from you in one year. It's a trick, right? So that's what callable CDs are for that's why they, that's how they work um, and hopefully that helps the people who watch my video in the future and don't understand what callable CDs are or the people who have watched the callable CDs and didn't exactly understand what a callable CD was uh, it's a real-world situation for callable CDs what you can get right now here today uh, in one of your brokerage accounts most likely these probably can buy the same cds as me and um that's how i'm thinking about callable cds right now as of the making of this video so that's callable cds i hope you uh enjoyed this video i hope you found it informative and that's all for now so thanks for watching youtube so long.